Alrighty boys, welcome back once again to another video. How are you guys doing? Guys, today I'm going to be doing one of my first ever exotic weapon guides for Destiny 2. In the today's video, it's going to be on the Ruinous Effigy. This exotic trace rifle has got to be one of the most insane weapons that I've ever seen in Destiny's history. Like, I've been playing this game since, you know, Destiny 1's Alpha, and I haven't exactly seen an exotic that is as wacky as this one, while also being extremely good, while also being extremely easy to get. And that's going to be the main focus of today's video, is basically on how to get this weapon, but let me give you a brief overview on what the Ruinous Effigy is about. So what if I were to tell you that this weapon could shoot a beam of light that would then kill an enemy and trap its soul in a purple ball? You could then use that purple ball to kill other enemies in the most fashionable way possible by slam dunking. You would probably say that's awesome, and that's what the Ruinous Effigy is. If we take a look at the intrinsic trait or the exotic perk, it has transmutation. Final blows with this weapon will collapse the victims into void transmutation spheres. The perk that it has, Evolution, says that these spheres you create can be picked up and wielded as weapons by you and your allies. You can left click for your light attack, which is a basic melee. You can right click for your heavy attack, which is a slam dunk, dealing way more damage and a huge AI. AOE that allows it to deal damage to other enemies, and then of course you have your guard which is going to drain the energy of the sphere and make a giant bubble around you and your allies, damaging any enemies that are on the inside. It's a pretty ridiculous weapon in the sense that not only does the beam that it shoots deal damage, and it deals a lot of damage at that, but you can also use the spheres for even more damage. This weapon also has a catalyst as well that basically allows you to deal more damage to enemies that were affected by a sphere, and you can basically get that by either destroying Savathun's eyes, which I will have a guide out on in the future, or you can just kill a bunch of enemies with it, um, and then you'll make up progress for that to make this weapon even stronger. But let's go ahead and get into how you actually get this weapon. Now I know a lot of you guys that watch my videos are very new so I'm gonna go over the most basic way to get this quest started. You have to at least be around power level 800 and have IO unlocked. You can then go to IO and start the seasonal quest for Season of Arrivals which will have you do pretty much a basic story mission with Eris. Once you get done with that you can go to the Drifter um, in the tower and next to him will be a recaster from which you can start the quest. Now you do need to keep in mind that you need to have the season pass to actually start this quest but you do get the season pass for free if you have shadow keep i always recommend never buy the season pass always go for the dlcs first and in this case the season pass actually comes with shadow keep so it's a win-win so once you get to that point you're going to be met with doing the interference mission on io it's going to ask you to do this mission and the way that you actually end up doing this mission or unlocking it is doing the means to an end quest which is a weekly season of arrivals quest which requires you to get umbral traces just read the quest it'll tell you what to do you you can either do adventures, you can do crucible or whatever, just kill enemies in whatever game type and you will get umbral traces to complete this and then do the interference story mission. Now once you've done that you come to the first kind of real weird part about this entire quest which is getting 25 calcified light and killing 15 of Sabathun's marionettes. Now you're probably hella confused on what this means so let me go ahead and tell you. We'll start with the marionettes. So the marionettes are basically these enemies that are going to be spawning on Titan and Io in the patrol areas and I'm basically going to tell you the easiest way to get this done. For me personally, I ended up going to Io and I ended up jumping between two spots on the map by fast traveling. I'm talking about the Lost Oasis and the Rupture. Now you want to go to a certain area, walk around, see if you can find the marionettes or find the event from which you can kill them and if you don't or you do, after you get done killing them, you then go to the next area, whether it be the Lost Oasis or the Rupture. Now the way that you're going to be able to find these guys or tell what they are is that you actually see a little bit of a tooltip in the bottom left at times which is say something for example taken disruptors have arrived and this will be you know in two other different ways it'll say two other different things for the other bosses because there's actually three different bosses that you can fight that are going to have marionettes that come with them so you're going to have these two knights that you need to get close together in order to deal damage to them you're going to have this taken centurion which is going to have these blights next to him you need to destroy that to then kill the centurion to then spawn the marionette the same thing with the knights by the way you kill the knights and it spawns it afterwards or you will actually end up seeing these taken ogres which will have these taken hobgoblin marionettes that are with them 
and you don't even have to worry about the ogre you can just kill the hobgoblin and then you'll actually get the kill so basically you just want to deal with these guys you will find them scattered around io just make sure that you're hopping between those two locations and loading up new instances and for me personally this only took me like 10 15 minutes it didn't take that long at all so yeah it's pretty simple make sure that you're going to io to get this done pretty quickly now once you kill the marionettes you need to find 25 calcified light now this is basically a scavenger hunt around a bunch of different planets in the solar system you're going to be able to find these bad boys on io titan mercury and mars so i'm going to have a guide to show where every single one of these are however if you don't want to use that guide and you want to find them yourself you can actually pull out your ghost on any of those locations and if it is within 200 meters of you there will be a gray icon to indicate that but if you want to go ahead and see where all the locations are i'm going to show you guys every single one of them right now and then we're going to move on to the next step
After you have killed the marionettes and you have got the calcified light, you are going to be met with the next step, which is pretty basic. Just run Gambit or Reckoning, get void kills, and get precision multi kills. For me personally, I just ran like three games of Gambit Prime and then I had the Gambit and Reckoning done while also using void weapons to try to get the void kills and the precision multi kills. Do keep in mind that if you don't get the void kills and precision multi kills while playing Gambit, you don't have to keep playing Gambit. You can instead just go to a patrol mission and just kill random enemies. That's what I did around Titan to get my precision multi kills, which is just getting multiple headshots on enemies and killing them. And yeah, I ended up getting it done on Titan just in a regular patrol. And then once you've done that, that, you go back to the recaster and you get your weapon it is a pretty simple weapon to get and not hard at all and is definitely one of the craziest weapons that I've ever used so I definitely recommend that you go out of your way and you get this done and you get this weapon it is absolutely insane and the just sheer raw damage output that it has on top of the transmutation spheres which can then be used for more damage I hope you guys did enjoy this guide and I hope that it was pretty uh, pretty simplistic for you all I'm not gonna go too much into detail about the weapon and like a full-blown review just kind of want to show you guys on how to get the weapon and what I thought of it and what I think of it is that it's a pretty great weapon it's pretty fun to use and it's pretty damn effective so let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below about this guide video i will have a news video out uh probably tomorrow for the this week at bungie as well as a guide video probably this weekend on getting the 50 sabathun eyes i know i'm a bit late on all this kind of stuff but better late than never so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching i will have plenty more coming in the future and yeah guys thank you for watching i'll see you all next time